dun 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 which you're for not about Geralt, border bomb and it's all your fault Bluebird team done shit they pants so suddenly we gotta give them a chance Shield resistance forces weak, bot assistance spread them cheeks Gaslight pander kind of obvious, tell me where's your modern audience Awesome knights and suicide squad, goodbye volcano, Kenza Razal Shadow gambit, Alan Wake, soulless flintlock game name capes Concord dustborn, cope and sneed, vitiligo, assassin's greed Developers can't stop cooking up math with a sensitivity, kiss of death Google in the CIA, harvest 23 in May Data can be quite expensive, censor all you find offensive Sending millions in donation, censor COVID conversation, disregard these random incidents, it's all just one big coincidence. Netflix leaking anime shows, fire sale at Warner Rose, queer done came and killed your profit, put that woke shit back in a closet, fee fi po from giant chin, quadruple A in the bargain bin, sterilized antibacterial, cucks avoid the source material, gender race swap lazy rotten, wasted money soon forgotten, get in trouble noticing, Kyle cry when touch coma sing, AI is just a tool, quite useless in the hands of a fool, two billion watch them struggling to make women without ugly. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Yami Shibai. No Jikan Dayo. Like and subscribe to join over 100,000 beta testers. Earlier today, I saw scumbag games journalists so desperate for clicks and views that they ignored NDAs and spread information and images about an upcoming Valve game despite instruction. You expect this nonsense from The Verge, but observing Cuck Warren, whom I'd incorrectly assumed had been around long enough to know right from cringe, I was shocked. Locked comments, hidden replies, the gang's all here. And The Verge urinalist took no time in proudly proclaiming their ban from freaking Valve. In begging for comments, make fun of me, please, here's this whip, they said, arching their back in your direction. Jeff Keighley signals Gamescom's approach, but the games, or lack thereof, on this graphic emphasize just how slim the pickings are this year. Black Ops had its whole campaign leak and generated pretty much no buzz. I've clearly observed other leaks, and I think Dan to Dan is quite amusing. Indiana lady for the Microsoft excuse me a woman is talking box dune the body type B fucked up haircut experience bro this Concord level garbage coming down the pipes is uh is gonna be something to behold I'm I'm quite sure some of the saddest stuff we've probably seen in gaming in our lifetime honestly but it's okay Nintendo and the worthy competition will survive. Serve. For now, it can't be stressed enough what we appreciate and what we hate as long as we articulate it in a civil manner. It is, again, a reminder that I do not encourage anybody to reach out to or interact with anybody. I, I regard everybody as infected and highly contagious, and so should you. The same entities who hold themselves to a different standard than they expect of you are the same deceptive liars busy putting words in your mouth to protect their grift and sabotage the good times that would help people unwind so that the unhinged narcissists ruining people's lives don't cause good people to lose control. We're all exercising enough restraint, not telling people the truth, since it would hurt their feelings. As the Simpsons writers put it, there's being right, and there's being nice. AI can instantly recognize a man and knows the difference between genders. AI is scraping data and gathering sentiment for people with enough money to pay for honesty. More money than you or I will ever know is disposable. The AI knows what your gender is from your bone structure. The phone sees you as you are, even if it shows you a filter that you prefer. It has conjured an image of you it believes you will find soothing to pacify you. But Ubisoft has to say things like, it's quadruple A. Get used to not owning your games. Skull and Bones, the pirate game urging you to be kind and nice? 
is now in the bargain bin for $10, still more expensive than it's worth, and trash like Sushi Squad cannot be given away after literal gender swaps, angry lesbian weightlifters, and downgrades of character models by insecure developers when these things were done better a decade ago. What is your purpose? You help make Harry Potter now. If only Warner could figure out how to create instead of destroying with staff so stupid, lazy, and... Uh, you know... I get it. Rage bait, get us talking about it. But that was a decade ago, you know? Now we're placing bets on when we can wipe what remains of you off the floor for the final time. No one owes you money for your woke cancer for robbing people of money that they spent expecting entertainment. You've earned the justified hatred of people who would be well within their right never to trust another product from you sniveling gnarled fingered crooks again. There are genuine bigots, racists, and thieves with more of a conscience than the cultural saboteurs I witness, but I don't expect a soul. I expect you to earn your paycheck and make some goddamn money, but instead, the business retarded, overpaid lecturers work tirelessly to lose money and paradoxically retain their jobs when much of the social media presence of these clowns seems devoted to hanging on the words of the audiences that they are supposed to be appealing to, that they apparently openly despise you know like-minded beta testers playing schizo dyslexia games that are absorbing my word diarrhea because our time is limited have trained ai with more of a soul unironically than these money immolating psychopaths and and you know what i'll come off it exquisitely because as i've said before on the planet earth in the year 2024 man still exists because of procreation between the two genders that can manage that but if the people who have been elected to oversee entertainment have chosen to demonize pretty women their institutions may crumble in favor of crude cave paintings that actually appeal instead of repulse and look I've got this glow-in-the-dark chalk for my Kyle cave. Relatably realistic, as in a self-insert like the fat bitch developer producers that are fucking smearing their dog d lack of a life <laughs> onto any kind of, come on, we just don't want to see that. In my space, I look at games woke flintlock that has to lie. I'm a Schultz game, but you're not. Barely managing 500 on PC. Congratulations. Your Dustboard and your Concord, your Saints Row by another name. You can ignore the indications from gamers that they're done with preachy lectures, but I'm not so sure that the money that you should be fucking making is going to be ignored for much longer. The only way to win some of these games, beta testers, we know well, is not to play. We are gamers, many for life. We are weird. So when normies try to throw that out as an insult, you know, I'm hearing a lot of that coming from, uh, uh, I guess, a Democratic Party or, or from fucking Rachel Zegler, whatever, man. Cool. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting my fucking money. You're not getting my fucking vote. Do you get what I'm saying? What were you hoping to shame me in the other direction? I don't understand. I don't understand. What's crazy is some of us accept loss and in doing so find victory. You manage to be a bigger loser and that makes it so that we don't have to do anything to win. By your standards, by your measurement. Beta testers, I'm so eager to talk about what I think the big flops will be, what I think the interesting things will be. 
In the comments, tell me whether you'd be interested in a biggest upcoming flops video or just a most anticipated upcoming releases video. Varadark was kind enough to congratulate the shadow band beta testers for 100k, so I wish to extend the same congratulations because she recently reached that milestone as well. To the patrons and sponsors, I love you. Thank you for the ongoing support, and uh, to those of you who are just looking for a way to do anything, there's a bunch of links in the description. Join the Discord or follow Twitter to drop things you think I should see. Otherwise, take care.